In this video, we're gonna go back to basics. I'm gonna show you how you can add affiliate links to WordPress using the Gutenberg editor. I'm also gonna show you how you can add affiliate links to WordPress using Elementor. So, let's go. So I'm over at bestroofbox.com, which is one of my affiliate marketing websites. If you'd like to create a website just like this one, it's a lovely, clean, clear affiliate marketing blog style site. I've got a full length tutorial that shows you absolutely everything that you need to know. Takes you through it step by step from start to finish. And by the end of watching the video, you'll have a site uh, pretty much the same as this, but of course you can create it in whatever niche you like. Put a link up to that video now in a card and you'll also find links to everything that I talk about in this video in the video description, which is below the video. In this tab, I've got a test post, uh, just something that we can play around with in this video. It's using the Gutenberg editor, which is what we'll start with, and then I'll show you how to do it with Elementor as well, which this site is also running. To be honest, I prefer Elementor, but hey, most WordPress sites uh, are running Gutenberg, so, so we'll start there. In this tab, I've got Amazon open, looking at a product, I know it's a dog feeder and the site's about roof boxes, but don't worry about that. I've been looking up dog feeders for my other affiliate site, which is all around dog technology. So the first thing we need to do is get our affiliate link from Amazon. And the easiest way to do that is from the site stripe. You get access to the site stripe once you're signed up as an Amazon associate. You'll see it appear across the top here. So if we click on text. You need to obviously be looking at the product that you want to link to uh, before you do that. So we're gonna link to this product. Click on text, I'm gonna click on full link to get the Long link because it's easier to update it in the future if we need to. I'm gonna right click, copy it to my clipboard, go back to the post. You then highlight the text that you want to make a link. We well, might add some extra text like you know, check the latest price on Amazon. Highlight the text, click the chain, paste the link in. I'm gonna click on the three little dots here and select it to open in a new tab, because I think that's a good thing to do with affiliate links. And then click apply. There we go, we've added our affiliate link into Gutenberg, it's all ready to go. Now, Amazon also offer an image. They also have this text and image thing, but I really hate these, so never use them, and I advise that you don't either. But you might wanna use an image. Now, I always go for large, because the images are small anyway, even the large one is pretty small. So I've selected large, I'm gonna copy this code into my clipboard. Go back to the post. Now you can't just paste that code into a kind of text box on Gutenberg, I don't like it. So I think the best thing to do is add some columns so that you have the text on one side and then the image on the other. So let's do that now, I'm gonna click on the little plus. And you need the columns widget, it's in my most used, but if it's not in your most used, it will probably be under uh, layout elements here. Click columns, that gives you two columns. If we want the image on the right hand side, I click on the right hand column and then I'm gonna paste that code in. There is our image. Now that image automatically contains the affiliate link and all that other stuff that we need. You can add a caption if you want, dog feeder. There we go, now of course you want the text next to it so you can come down, get your text, grab hold of it by these six little dots. Drag it up here, and then we've got the text next to our image. Let's have a quick preview of what this looks like. There we go. Let me see if we can click that, and that takes us straight through to the product. And if we were to buy this product, we'd get a commission, although you obviously can't buy stuff using your own affiliate links, that is against Amazon's terms of service and all that stuff. So that's Gutenberg, that's adding an image, and that's adding a lovely text affiliate link. Let's have a look at Elementor. Well, I'll switch this over to Elementor. Here we go. So that's the stuff we've already done. Let me, let me get rid of this, let's start again fresh. We'll start again. Just delete that link. Okay, so it's a very similar process. We'll come back to Amazon and get our text link. Full link again, copy to clipboard. 
Let's just close that preview, we don't need that. I've got too many tabs open, getting in a bit of a mess, never mind. Again, you'd add the text you want to link with, so check the latest price on Amazon. Highlight the text, click on the little chain, paste the link in, and if we just press enter, it adds the link. All done. Now that should automatically be set to link uh, in a new window, in a new tab. But you can double check it, you need to come over to this left hand side, select the link, click on the pencil, click on the cog, you got some options in here and we can see that it is ticked to open a link in a new tab. So that's all done. Now adding the image is actually a little bit easier with Elementor, you just come in, get the code again, gone for a large image. Then we go back to the post, and I'm gonna come over to this left hand side editor, I'm gonna to switch to the text editor. And then right at the top, I'm just gonna paste that code in. And if we switch back to visual, there it is, I don't know what that, P there is, we don't need that, let's delete that. There's our image, we can um, align it using these controls just by clicking on it, so line it to the right, looks nice. I think there's a bit of space at the top of this text, we can get rid of that. And there it is. So if you can, I would use Elementor because it's a lot easier to do stuff and get the links in and you don't have to worry about columns and that kind of stuff when you're adding images, I think it's a lot nicer. Now to finish off, I'm just gonna show you another affiliate link that I've got that's not Amazon. So when you sign up with other companies as an affiliate, you generally get uh, an area like this. And now this is my Elementor um, affiliate area. And they just generally give you a link that looks a bit like that. So to add it, again, you just copy to clipboard, come back in, highlight the text. Let's add some new text. Get Elementor. There we go, highlight that, click the chain. Paste it in. Open link in new tab, update. There we go. So it is really as simple as copy and paste. You grab your affiliate link, copy it into your clipboard, highlight your text, click on the little chain, paste the link in. There we go, we're all done. That brings the end of this video. Hopefully you're clear now on how you can add your affiliate links using either Gutenberg or Elementor. If you've got any questions or comments, do leave them below. I read all the comments that I get and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, click on the eagle, like to check out my vlog channel, click on my face, and there's a couple of new videos chosen specially for you. Until next time, bye for now.